There will be attacks from the devil, from Satan himself, from the outside, but there will also be attacks from him from the inside. And the ones from the inside are sometimes more difficult to discern. It's been said, if we only feed the sheep and not warn them, we only fatten them for the slaughter. And Paul warns these people. He warns them. Some of those planted by Satan are pretending to be Christian ministers, right? Read this, but read it with open eyes. Open, wake up for a second and read this and really, really see what it's saying. Think about it for a second. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves. And that word transforming can be more masquerade, pretending to be. It's not an inward transformation, but it's just a masquerade. Transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. So his ministers are just copying what he does. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. Now, if you read that with open eyes and you think about it for a second, it ought to worry you. It ought to kind of put a little bit of fear into you. And that's what Paul is trying to, to get into his readers or his hearers in Acts, the Ephesian elders. He's trying to help them grasp the gravity of the situation the reality of the spiritual war that we are in. Satan's ministers aren't always in dark rooms lurking about in the shadows. Sometimes they're in the pulpit. 